What is up? How's it going? I want to talk to you through right now my favorite feature in high level. There's a lot to love and there's new stuff that's coming out literally every single week, but still consistently my favorite feature is smart lists or contacts. This is a CRML aspect of what's going on in the system here. And so I'm going to pull up my screen and walk you through why this is still my favorite piece of it. Now I get it. This could be an indication of kind of the level of where we're at in the business. So for me, for like top level, things are pumping and going. I just want to like have better data. It's really, really cool what you can do here. So I'm pull this up. You may notice I got stuff blurred. Isn't that fun? Side note, um, part of HL Pro Tools, we have privacy mode and we've got a light and dark mode just built in to so settings. So it just kind of works out of the box and you can have those additional things. In contact, in the contacts area, you can set up these filters and you can start to designate different filters to create curated lists. And it dynamically stays up to date based on whatever the criteria might be. And so, so you can see some of the smart lists we've got up here, employees, like a list of everybody who had like tested through here. And I got like, engaged folks, people who opened an email in the last seven days. The cool thing is these are savable and shareable to specific people or to everyone. So you can get really kind of cool and curated with this. If you're like, I want to make a list that's specific to a certain person on the team, you can do that. If you want it for everyone, you can do that. You can adjust for yourself. But so as I go into the filter area, one of the most common things we see is tags becoming less and less necessary because now there's kind of cooler stuff you can do. But so one of the relatively recent additions is workflows. You can do by if they finished or if they're actively inside of a workflow, which is kind of cool, or they're not, they haven't finished a particular workflow. This is interesting. I wasn't planning to talk about this, but just a little aside, if you use anything with webhooks or like catch webhook on Zapier, you'll notice they, if you're familiar with that, they generate like a custom seven digit code. And so anytime we use webhooks now, or if we're like sending out to Zapier to accomplish some other cool thing or whatever, we now put that in the naming convention. So that's what you're seeing right there. And uh, super helpful. If you do anything with webhooks, take the, the custom seven digits, put it into your workflows. And that way, if you need to like troubleshoot or, or wonder where it's heading, you have a searchable string. For example, I could put in here, okay, they've, they've finished a uh, value email we sent out. So it's like, cool, boom, I got all those records and I can get more specific. Maybe I want like last activity type or last activity like range. You can say more than, less than, whatever it is. And so if I was like, okay, the range is the last seven days, last seven days smaller list, right? Of people who've actively done something or engaged with us in the last seven days. You can filter by name, right? You can literally specify a name. How many mats do we have? 22 mats. I love it. First name is Matt. I love that. Okay. This is kind of the idea you start to see here. Okay. I can create these criteria filtered, right? They've gone through this workflow or there's activity in a certain range or greater than a certain range, whatever they've been like chopped off there. And then you can save it as a smart list. Like I said, specifically or globally or privately, keep it to yourself, which is just really awesome. I, I just geek out on this so much and I see myself using this so much, just the interactivity that high level brings and where it kind of comes to the head right here where, where all of that activity can be filtered down into usable data, right? Something you can execute on. You can start to, they read this, they replied here, they didn't do that, they got this tag and you start to see these segments that can really be specific and actionable with your marketing and with your business management. It's cool you can build for folks as well. Like if you're building a snapshot, like for a different clientele, how cool is it for the everyday business owner to be able to say, I can see Facebook leads or past customers or left me a review, right? They can kind of like, you can create these smart lists for them that just make it a little bit more approachable and, and usable. And then they feel very organized because of it for yourself. And then also for team members, people you got in there like, oh, someone needed a password reset or something with a membership area, uh, something like that. And now they can just go in there, check it and take care of it. That is, like I said, my favorite feature in a high level right now, smart lists and the ability to filter down criteria and have it dynamically updated and share it with others or keep it privately, use it for employees or team and for clients, kind of my favorite. Hopefully that is helpful. Well, I, I'd be curious, what is your favorite tool inside of high level? And then I'm always, I always love knowing what do you, what do you wish that existed? So let me know what's your favorite and what you wish existed.